So what we know is that people with diabetes are much more likely to contract the flu, much more likely to be hospitalised when they get the flu, and unfortunately much more likely to die from the flu in very severe cases than somebody without an underlying medical condition. What we don't know is why this is happening and how we can best prevent it. So that's really the focus of my research in this area, trying to understand what it is about diabetes that increases the severity of the flu and ultimately what we can do to try and develop new clinical approaches to minimise that. Uh, so my name is Kirsty Short and I'm a virologist at the University of Queensland. So diabetes is increasing at such a dramatic rate, not only in Australia, but also in other countries. And at the same time, what we're seeing every year is these quite bad outbreaks of the flu. I'm sure you remember 2017 where it was one of the worst flu seasons on record in Australia. Understanding the role of flu in this chronic medical condition is really important for improving the health of so many Australians. So at the moment, what's recommended for patients with diabetes to avoid the flu is getting the yearly flu jab, the, the vaccine. And that's really important, but we know that that vaccine isn't perfect and it doesn't protect against all strains of the flu. So we really need a complementary approach to try and protect people living with diabetes from the flu. And that's what we're really trying to develop so that in the future, you can have the flu vaccine and that will give you some level of protection. And then we can also complement that with an adjunct therapy that will hopefully mean that people with diabetes don't have to worry about the flu.